So yes, it is 2-6, but make sure you call it out really loud so that the counter can hear it. Fraction Ball came from a collaboration between teachers and researchers, and we put our heads together to think about how can we design the schoolyard for play and learning. So we came and we met with a bunch of teachers. We shared previous projects about playful learning in outdoor spaces, and the teachers got really excited, and they started to dream together with us, how could we design their schoolyard to have all these rich, playful learning experiences. One of the teachers said, well, we just repaved our basketball court, but we haven't painted any lines on it yet. So what can we do there? We started talking about how we could think about the theory of the number line, really, and integrate that theory into a design that would be appropriate for a game of basketball. We started chalking it up on uh, the course that we're around here and thinking through of different ways that um, this could look like. We came up with several different ideas and the one that stuck was fraction ball, doing fractions and rational number thinking on our basketball courts. And I was able to implement fraction ball as a teacher, being able to report back our findings or some of the things that we were noticing that the students were doing, the connections they were making within the classroom, um, and basically going through the co-design process with them as the teacher initially. There are details of, you know, kids go out and play, right? We start off with uh, kids getting in teams. In their teams, they go out and play a game of basketball. But now the basketball is a little bit different. We take the traditional three-point arc of a basketball court and we convert it into a one-point line. And then there's smaller arcs closer to the basket that are worth a quarter point, a half point, three quarters of a point. The left side of the court shows decimal representations and the right side of the court shows fraction representations. So kids can see very concretely that one quarter and 0.25 are the same value just written with different notation. And then there's a number line on the side of the court for kids to keep track of their score. Uh, students are supposed to call out um, the, the fraction corresponding to the uh, number of points, of the, the shot that they made, to say the problem out loud that they're doing. The students had to think about what the fractions actually meant while they were playing the game instead of just kind of moving forward one step on the, on the number line and not really thinking about what that meant. And so this builds on decades of research in math cognition about number line training, embodied learning, play, as all really useful tools to support kids math learning. We actually directly involve our end users, in this case it will be teachers and students, uh, to co-create different aspects of a game or a different part of how a curriculum is run. What that allows us to do is give them a voice but also um, brings their expertise and their experience directly into the design. So yes, it is 2-6, but make sure you call it out really loud so that the counter can hear it. We have the design aspect, we have the research aspect, we have folks who are um, expert in evaluation, so then we can also evaluate Fraction Ball and get good evidence. And so we almost close the whole loop where we have design, research, evaluation, and we all work together. And we're able to really capitalize on all of the strengths of the different people in the team, bringing in different perspectives as far as like me being a teacher and being able to speak to the sort of structures that the schools have to work under, the, the time limits and knowing just the school limitations. I feel like everyone is able to provide a perspective to the program that just enhances our ability to be able to create something that is cohesive, that is workable and feasible to implement within the schools. Not only is Fraction Ball an effective tool for promoting math learning, but it also improves their attitudes and beliefs towards math. So they have more positive emotions towards math, they say math is less boring, and they're excited to go to school. Success is when kids love learning and, and school is the place that they want to be. The long-term uh, vision is to really rethink how we think about education. How can we think about play as a key to learning. Whatever we do, it has to be fun. And I think that that's been a, a useful kind of guiding principle for us as we think about ways to iterate on Fraction Ball. The kids just have fun and 
learn math at the same time. Kids who have come into my classroom saying like, math is just not for me, or I'm not a math person. Then at the end of Fraction Ball, we're leaders in my classroom talking and teaching other students and looking forward to coming to class. And that's the goal with Fraction Ball, that kids all over the world can play and learn math at the same time.